Good morning. My name is Dave Gardner. I am with Boardfoot Enterprises in Goshen, Connecticut. We are a local company. Uh, we've been in business since 1992, and we are in the business of utilizing a portable sawmill uh, to go to uh, patrons' uh, premises and do custom sawmilling on the job. The question is, how does this directly affect forest management? The key here is portability, a less footprint, less impact on the environment. We bring the sawmill to the work site. It involves less trucking, less handling, and it's much more efficient. Uh, the region we cover is primarily the northwest corner of Connecticut, which includes Litchfield County. However, we have gone as far south as lower Fairfield County and as far west as Dutchess, New York. Uh, byproducts and how are they used? All material produced by the mill are biodegradable. Sawdust for animal bedding to small side lumber for birdhouses, bat houses, and gardening projects. Of course, we have plenty of uh, chipping material and uh, lots of stuff left over for kindling and fireplace starting. Next question is, what are the advantages of portable versus permanent sawmills? Uh, the answer to that is, we come to you, uh, to your work site. We use no big trucks, our mill is towed and or pushed into position by a conventional three-quarter ton pickup truck. We can cut one, five, 10 or even 100 of your trees to your specifications. Give us a materials list and leave the rest to us. We offer custom cut native lumber featuring all native species. We can provide timbers for cutting and for custom beams. Okay, the question is, uh, how do we supply resource material for custom cabinet and furniture makers? Uh, the, at this time, it is very difficult for us to get exact specifications that are required of the industry. We, uh, we do provide some kill dried lumber, again, it's all native, uh, but uh, what you have to do is plan a big lead time. Most furniture makers like to have stuff that is six months to a year cut, and then they in turn place it in a kiln and uh, straighten it out to their specifications. Um, we need uh, probably about six to eight months uh, uh, for this to dry and uh, we do cover that industry. Most requests are for white oak. Uh, that usually has to be taken down uh, during the dormant times, which are from December to March. And uh, then in order to process that for uh, kilns, you have to put it in and tie it up for about a year. So if you're, if you're a custom furniture maker, you've got to look out a year and project what your work is going to be. Uh, the question is, uh, what uh, trees do you cut on your premise and or uh, lots? Uh, it's Unless you have a degree in forestry and or agriculture, it's always best to hire a licensed uh, forester to come in, uh, assess what woods uh, that you do have. Uh, even though you may have your favorite tree and it might be time for it to go, you might get another 10, 12 years out of it. Have a forester come in and uh, pay the bill and let somebody professionally market and assess it for you.